I'm going to die. Maybe not. Every year, action enthusiasts eagerly await the latest crop of movies, hoping to find that perfect blend of heart, humor, and sheer intensity. We have both standalones and sequels helmed by A-list actors, cutting-edge special effects, and hair-raising set pieces. From war movies to epic superhero adventures to gritty thrillers, there is no shortage of pulse-pounding action to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Welcome to See Next. Today, we're ranking the top 10 best action movies of 2023. Get your popcorn ready, set, and let's go. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Number 10, Plane. Out of the frying pan and into a hostile island taken over by rebels. Pilot Brody Torrance successfully avoids peril and crashes headlong into another insurmountable danger. When you and your passengers' only choice are the rebels or an FBI prisoner, suspected murderer Louise Gaspar, played by Mike Coulter, you choose the lesser evil. If you want a movie night to keep you on the edge of your seat, too entrenched in the plot to even raise the popcorn to your mouth, then plain it is for you. There's the heart-stopping sequence of the plane crash, the gripping hostage situation, and the endearing chemistry between the leads. And everyone loves a Loki-esque, you must be truly desperate to come to me moment. Oh, is he dangerous? What did he do? Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. Get him on board, let's have a good flight. Number nine, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. Why he wants his job? I need the money. Don't disappoint, turn out to be a pain in the ass. No, not me, sir. Did this war movie maim you too? Directed by Guy Ritchie and starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Dar Salim, the plot follows John Kinley, a U.S. Army Sergeant and Ahmed, his Afghan interpreter, as they fight to survive during the war in Afghanistan. With real-world stakes and a deep exploration of the bond between military personnel, The Covenant is a stirring and intense action thriller that delivers a powerful emotional punch. Gyllenhaal knocked it out of the park on a consistent basis, but all eyes are on Dar Salim as Ahmed. Not enough people are talking about this movie, it's got it all. Camaraderie, action, war, intensity, and rewatchability. John, you have tallies approaching. <laughs> Number 8, Sisu. How many mines did you bury here? All of them. You? And you. Sisu, a Finnish term that often translates to the idea of having grit, perseverance, and guts. Sisu the movie is about one man's gripping battle to go home. But to do that, he needs to A, secure his gold, and B, fight his way out of a Nazi death squad. The odds aren't in his favor. Set during the closing days of World War II in Northern Finland, this hidden gem tells the story of a lone prospector whose gold is targeted by a group of Nazis on a scorched earth retreat. But they quickly discover that this isn't any ordinary miner. And what follows is a heart pumping battle for survival against an implacable foe. This is one of those movies that stay with you. We might have a problem. Number seven, Fast X. That's the bomb. All right, dorks, what are we blowing up? What? The Vatican? Wow. You guys are going to hell. Is there anything better than a Fast and Furious movie? Yes, there is. A Fast and Furious movie with Jason Momoa and Brie Larson, Michelle Rodriguez, Alan Richson, and of course, Vin Diesel. What's shaking in the Fast universe? A new foe has risen up, threatening everything Dom and his family have worked to achieve. A lot of people are often on the fence about Fast movies given their sheer numbers, but the quality didn't let up here. It's action-packed, it's emotion-packed. Once you start watching, you'll feel like you're part of the Fast family yourself. You will never be able to break my family. No! Number six, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Stand down. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. All the popular kids came to this dance, as in action movies, but this juggernaut is not to be ignored. It's got stellar CGI, 90s nostalgia, whip-sharp humor, and the stakes are higher than ever as Optimus Prime and the Autobots face a danger that may as well level the entire planet. But they can't do this on their own. They have to team up with the Maximals. 
Transformers Rise of the Beasts manages to keep things unpredictable even after nearly two decades in the game. Mirage is the comic relief, voiced by none other than Pete Davidson. Noah and Elena are fantastic. The villains though, oof. Harbingers of destruction and wreckers of chaos. Is this the best Transformers movie? How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So like, way bigger than a planet. Number five, The Flash. Hi. I love you. Thank you. Touching you into Mr. Wayne. No, please don't. Um, I need you here now, Barry. Calamity ensues when Barry Allen drops the ball. And when we say drop the ball, we mean pull at the taunt sanity of reality so much that it fractures. He'd done it by traveling back in time, now he has to suffer the consequences. This is an all hands on deck situation. General Zod, Batman, Supergirl, and more, including, spoiler, a certain Kryptonian and another Flash. It will be worth it watching this movie when you see Michael Keaton flash the cowl again. Super nostalgic watching Ben Affleck retake the mantle again. Was the comedy a hit or a miss? It was a hit! The Flash will race through your expectations and alter them. Wait, he's Batman? You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Number four, Extraction Two. Move. When the first Extraction movie ended with Rake inches from death and then left us with an open end, we wouldn't have blamed director Sam Hargrave if the sequel didn't live up to the predecessor. Lo and behold, it did. The God of Thunder traumatized mercenary is back at it again. This time, his dangerous mission is to rescue a gangster's family. This movie shoots adrenaline straight into your veins. Hargrave is known as a former stunt coordinator, so every single action sequence is jaw-droppingly, neck-craningly awesome. Getting you out of here, okay? Number three, Guardians of the Galaxy, volume three. We come in peace. How is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 one of 2023's best action movies? We'll do you one better. Why Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is one of 2023's best action movies? The latest in the Guardians saga proposes a question. Is this the end of the line for the Guardians? This is described as one of the best new Marvel movies. We have the newest edition of Will Poulter as Adam Warlock. Get ready for Rocket's backstory, Quill's manifesting grief, a new Gamora, Nebula accepting her role as a guardian more than a villain. Finally, the actual villain High Evolutionary, played by Chikwudi Iwuji, is incredible. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? That's Do ridiculous. not bring me into this. Don't even. <laughs> Knock it off! What? Number two, John Wick, Chapter Four. You're going to die. Maybe not. At this point, John Wick just wants to go home, but he can't. So he gives us hours of top-notch, edge-of-your-seat content. Chapter 4 promises to take things to even greater heights of suspense and action. And if you thought the body count was high in the previous films, just wait until you see what the writers have in store for the fourth installment. Reeves has promised that Chapter 4 will explore more of Wick's backstory, which should add some depth to the character and make us care even more about his journey. But let's be real, the real draw of John Wick isn't just the action, it's Keanu Reeves. The man oozes cool and wholesome, and his portrayal of John Wick is a perfect mix of charm, vulnerability, and sheer badassery. You want to kill him? I want to kill him? <laughs> what about you, Mr. Wick? I'm going to kill you. Before we reveal our first pick, let's look at some honorable mentions, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Shazam! Fury of the Gods You want these powers? Come get them! Hey! Khaleesi! <laughs> Kill Boxoon Polite Society I'm pretty sure I drew blood. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Patan. Patan, Tanto, Hunted. The Last Kingdom, Seven Kings Must Die. Ooh. Here we go. 
go back into an age of darkness. AKA. Une nouvelle vie, une nouvelle identité. Blood and gold. <laughs> Operation Fortune, Ruse de Guerre. As a private contractor, you possess a unique set of skills. Number one, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I'm grounded. Bummer. What? Is Spider-Man grounded? Welcome to the Spider-Verse. And this is just the lobby. There is never going to come a time when the Spider-Verse's immersive, thrilling, and creative animation style doesn't immediately wow us. But the movie is more than visually stunning. We have an all-grown-up Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy, and the multiverse. Without giving too much away, because Across the Spider-Verse is an experience, Spider-Man meets Spider-People. When a new threat arises, Miles finds himself on the other side of the fight, against other spiders. The soundtrack alone makes this one of 2023's best action movies. Also, Oscar Isaac and Daniel Kaluuya both voice spiders. Who do you think you are? Really? We are supposed to be the good guys. We are. And those are the top 10 best action movies of 2023. What did you think? Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to be notified of new content. Thanks for watching.